All right, I had to configure the NIC on my laptop to perform this test, but here we go. I'm gonna ping 1.1.1.2, which is the IP address on my laptop, and bam, it works. Now, I didn't modify the port that my laptop is plugged into on the switch. Uh, by default, all ports are assigned to VLAN 1, right out of the box. So, all I had to do was configure an IP address on my laptop. Now that the switch is reachable by IP, we need to secure it and in doing so make it manageable remotely. But first I'm going to save my current configuration so that when I reboot everything will come up just like it is now. And to, to save your configuration just do write memory or some people shorten down to just WRMEN. Okay, I saved this part for last primarily because security settings can seriously mess up your otherwise perfect configuration. It is far too easy to lock oneself out of their own device if they're not careful. First, we'll secure privileged exec mode access. Um, before I do that, I need to explain the difference between Enable, the enable password command and the enable secret command. Alright. They both do the same thing, but the enable password command, when you enter that, the password is in clear text in the, in the configuration. So if you do a show run and you look at the enable password section of the output, you'll see the password that you put in. Whereas if you put in the enable secret password, the password that you put in will be encrypted in the running configuration. With that said, I'll go ahead and configure the enable secret password. I recommend the enable secret password. Uh, another note is if you configure both the enable password and enable secret password, the enable secret password will override the enable password. You can have both configured on there, but the only one the switch or router will see or use will be the enable secret password. Alright, now to configure the enable secret password. Enable secret will make it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's see if it works. I should be prompted for a password when I try to get into enable mode or privileged exec mode. Okay, enter, enable, prompted for a password. Password is one, two, three, four, five, and I'm in. All right, privileged exec mode is secured, but the switch is still not manageable remotely. This is because no login settings have been put on the VTY lines. Any attempt to tell it to the switch will be met with an error that states password required but none set. To fix this, I'll use a bare minimum config in which I'll just assign a password to the VTY line and then tell the line to check for the password. Here's how we do that. line vty and I'll just configure all the lines for this 0 through 15 configure password I'll make it 1 2 3 4 5 ordinarily I would recommend making that a different password from the enable password but for now this will work Okay, and now you tell the switch to look for a password when someone tries to get into it. Now if you don't enter in the password first, 
before putting in login, you'll get met with an error message, and you'll just have to enter in pat you know password first before doing the login part. Okay, our VTY lines are password protected, and we can now access the switch remotely via telnet. 